So you've mentioned spinal fluid a few times. How invasive is this test? <laughs> Look, I mean, uh, what I am told, I have not had a lumbar puncture in many years. Um, what I am told is that it is not too scary, but I, I can't speak with authority on that. But what I will tell you is that um, we know that misfolded alpha-synuclein, once it misfolds up here in your substantia nigra, like we were talking about earlier, it, it travels all over the body. It is in so many different places in the body. And spinal fluid is just the first place that we were able to figure out how to measure it. We know that it exists in the tears. We know that it exists in your blood and we know that it exists on your skin. And so one of the ways that we are ad currently advancing that biomarker tool is by making it more readily accessible. So uh, there is a new skin test that is being rolled out, which I know somebody was talking about earlier today. Uh, we are studying how alpha-synuclein shows up in your skin. We are studying how it shows up in your blood serum. And all of this is for the purpose of if we think back to cholesterol, right? Uh, cholesterol measures heart disease. Every year when you go to your annual physical, you get blood drawn and your cholesterol gets run. This is a very normal thing. What the future of Parkinson's disease could look like is you go to your annual physical and it's a blood serum test or it's a skin sample test that's rolled into your regular um, sort of cadre of care because like Dr. Legs said earlier, by the time you ha start to experience symptoms of Parkinson's disease, you've lost upwards of 70% of the dopamine in your brain. The biomarker is testing you or is, is resulting in a positive test long before someone ever has a single first symptom. So if we have a vaccine or an immunotherapy or something like that for PD, and, it, and something like a skin test or a blood test is rolled into someone's annual physical, you know, Eileen, you could go to the physician, you could get your blood drawn and they could call you back and, you know, it, upload to your my chart that says, unfortunately, you've tested positive for misfolded alpha-synuclein, but you don't have any symptoms of Parkinson's disease yet. It's okay. We've caught it. We're going to give you this tool, this vaccine or whatever, that's going to stop that, those symptoms in their tracks because a cure is awesome and a cure is the goal, but the silver bullet is prevention.